Hey guys, it's Alexis. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys like basically a small haul. I wouldn't really call it collective because like I got this like within this week and I just wanted to get a video for you guys today so I just kind of rounded up some things that I got within this week I went shopping. So I'm very excited to show you guys that. And before we get started, I have like a broken light so I'm trying to like bestly make this video like as best as possible like I don't know how the lighting is. I hope it, I hope it looks good. But yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys. I got like a few things from the drugstore. All my makeup I got this week from the drugstore. Which I'm super excited about because uh, lately I've been trying to have like a sort of an open mind with all the makeup I've been using. So I've been trying out some drugstore products and actually the products I've been using are actually pretty darn great. They were pretty highly raved about through the YouTube community and through the Instagram community like in the makeup section. So I'm pretty satisfied with the options I got. So basically let's just get started with the makeup. So the first thing I got is the Airspun Loose Face Powder, and let me guys, let me just tell you guys this. I am super duper obsessed with this product. It is honestly one of the best loose face powders I've ever tried. I'm actually using it now. I don't know if you guys can see because, like, the lighting I told you is messed up. But it sets your face and it makes my face amazingly, and I'm super super obsessed with that. I couldn't rave to you guys more about it. I love it. I definitely recommend it, and it's only six bucks at Walmart. Like, honestly, thank how better could it get and it's way better than spending $40 because like we're not rich here we're not Kylie Jenner and we can spend that much money in Sephora but this is definitely a great loose face powder and this is just what it looks like and I use the color translucent extra coverage that's like the most popular color or whatever but yeah that's the first thing I got the next thing I got is the new instant age rewind erasing dark sealers concealer by Maybelline age rewind and I actually used it yesterday, like it was supposed to be brand new, but I used it yesterday in my video. If you haven't seen that yet, you should go check it out. It's on how to bake and highlight. But these are just the two products I used to bake and highlight. But this is the concealer I use. It's the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. And let me show you guys. Let's see. That's what it looks like. And I use the color Neutralizer, and I super duper love this sponge right here. It's super great like to apply it on and I really like it and it's like all ugly now because I used it already but this is just a nice concealer I got and it's only like eight bucks I think it's really great I mean it is pretty small but I mean it's better than like spending it's probably about the size of a MAC one and you spent eight dollars for this and I think it works just as great I'm also wearing it now it covers up your dark circles good I really don't have big dark circles but it's great for highlighting I have the color neutralizer and this is just it and I really like this so yeah that's the next thing I got for makeup the next thing I got is the Maybelline Master Primer by Face Studio, and it is just the green one to control redness control. And I would say that this could have been a dupe to the Smashbox one. Well, oh, here is what it looks like. But it could have been a dupe for the Smashbox green primer. It's an amazing primer, don't get me wrong. I love this primer. I'm definitely going to be buying more of these. Maybe just not in the green color because it doesn't really control my redness as much as the Smashbox one. The Smashbox one does, it, but it does control it just a little bit. But it keeps my makeup in place all day, and especially when I bake my face. So I really like that. And this is just what it looks like. It was literally four bucks, like where I got it, it was four bucks, and I really absolutely love it. And I would definitely recommend this primer if you're looking for a primer to keep your makeup on all day, and it's also not a run for your money. So yeah, that's the next makeup product I got. And then the last makeup product I got is like, um, I found this very, very cheap. It was only like three bucks, honestly. I found it at King Supers, I believe. And it's just the LA Colors Dramatic Lash Fake False Eyelashes and the number Dolly in 973. And this is just what they look like. I never really wore fake eyelashes. Like, I've never worn fake eyelashes, actually. But I've been seeing just like a lot of posts and like some pretty with like wing eyeliner and eyeshadow looks and just everything so I just thought to give it a try I mean they were cheap I mean I don't really know how they're gonna work I never worked, used this before but if you guys would like to see an update maybe I could do a review video on them it looks like I'm gonna have to trim them though because they look pretty darn long but yeah this is just like I thought they were super pretty they're like extremely dramatic you guys can see but yeah they're super cute so hopefully they work as good as they look so that was basically everything I got in makeup from all drugstore products, and I pretty much love them all. I haven't tried out the eyelashes yet, but if you guys want to see the eyelashes, I could definitely show you guys that. So the next thing is, oh, it's really heavy. It's from Bath and Body Works. So they have a semi-annual sale, and I had a splurge there, and I just got a bunch of things. I got a lot of soaps because my mom always has good smelling soaps in her bathroom, and I'm always so jealous. So I had to go and buy me a few of them. 
and I'll just basically show you guys what I got before I sit and talk. So I'll show you guys all the soaps first because there's a lot of them. So the first soap I got is the Gentle Foaming Hand Soap and it's in the scent Cucumber Melon. And this is just what it looks like. It's super duper cute. I like the color of it. It's really summery. And the smell of it is amazing. Like I wish you guys could smell their camera. It smells really good. So this is the first soap I got and it's just a foam soap. The next soap I got is a Happy Easter Cotton Candy one, and it's also a foam soap. I just thought this would be cute, maybe to put it for Easter, even though it's far away. I'll probably use it before Easter comes. But yeah, I just thought it was super cute, and it smells super good. It literally smells like cotton candy. And yeah, it's just the foam soap. The foam soaps are my favorite, personally. Um, the next one I got is a Cucumber Melon again. I didn't even realize I got two of these, but I guess I it smells really good, so that's like why I guess I got two. And then the next one I got is Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla. Now, I'm usually not a vanilla person, but I feel like the cinnamon just added, like, something for me to get it. But it's super cute. I mean, I feel like this is more of, like, a fall design. I don't know if I'll have it all the way by fall or Thanksgiving, maybe. But this is the next one I got, and that's also a foam soap. And then this one's my favorite, absolute favorite, Vanilla Berry Sorbet. It smells so amazing. I love all their berry scents they have there and this is just what it looks like like the little packaging is cute it has all the berries and everything and this is also a foam soap I think they're all foam soaps and then the next soap I got is a vanilla berry starboard again and then the next two I got are the bead ones in a vanilla berry starboard just because I love the scent so much like you guys aren't how obsessed I am with it so I just got it in like the I forget what these are called I guess it's just a deep cleansing hand soap. It's not the foam ones. It's like light beady soaps, you know? If you guys can see. Like, let's see if you guys can see on the side. Because you can kind of tell. See, it has like the blue beads in it that clean it good. But yeah, I'm really obsessed with vanilla berry sorbet. So I got four. Now, the next thing I got are lotions. Um, the two lotions I got were the watermelon lemonade. And I just love this scent. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's great for summer. It smells so, so good. You guys do not understand. But yeah, I just got two of them and it's in the cream ones. It's not like the thick lotion they have, not the Shea Butter one. It's more of the thin one. Like, gosh, let me show you guys this. I'll show you guys. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is just basically what it looks like. See, it's not like the thick one, if you guys could see. It's not really thick, but it's more so like just normal lotion, I guess you could say. But yeah, I just got these two babies. And then the next lotion, the last lotion I actually got is um, the Ultra Shea one. I'll show you guys how it's thick. And it's called a Peach Bellany. I don't really know how to say the next word. But this is just what it looks like. And it's super duper cute. I really like it. And I'll show you guys the difference between the normal lotion and the Ultra Shea. Like, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but you definitely can in person. Like, mm -hmm. it's like really much more, it's more thick and creamier rather than the, um, the lotion, the lotion is more of a thin texturized lotion. But yeah, those are just all the soaps and lotions I got. And then the last two things I got there I'm super excited about are two perfumes, of course, because I have a perfume problem. So the first one I got is Seaside Pink Jasmine. And I think, honestly, what got me to it first was the, like, whole wrapping and whole design of it. Like, look how cute the lid is, guys. Like, look how cute that is. And then it's, like, all blue right here. And then it just says a pink jasmine right here. And, like, this pink, like, edgy. Like, it kind of looks like a knitted scarf, to be honest. Or, like, something like ripped jeans, like, if you guys can see. But, yeah, I thought that one was super cute. And then I got my all-time favorite scent. It's the Japanese Cherry Blossom. And if you guys don't know this, this is my favorite, favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. I love the lotion. I already have the lotion. And I wanted to get the perfume last time, but I don't know why I didn't get it. But yeah, this is, I just got the Japanese Cherry Blossom, and it's thebomb.com. If you ever go there, you have to smell the scent. So this is just basically everything I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys would like to see more hauls, it, 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 give this video a thumbs up. And whatever you guys want to see next, just comment down below. And if you haven't seen my last video, make sure to go check that out, because that is like my first makeup tutorial. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!